Good evening, students. Tomorrow's three questions today I am going to explain you. The first question draw the structure of the Thura flower and explain it. What is the first question? Draw the structure of the Thura flower. And explain it. Yeah, explain it. So this is our first question today. We have to explain about Dattura flower structure. Draw the structure of Dattura and label its parts. Explain about that. So before going to explain about the Thura flower, we have to know about the flowers uh, means six organ of the flowers. So here the flowers are the sexual part of the plants. Flowers are the sexual part of the plant. So here in some flowers both sex organs are there in some flowers only one sex organ is there so based on the number of the sex organs flowers are going to divide into two types bisexual unisexual remember that word bisexual bisexual and unisexual two words are there the first one is bisexual Okay, bisexual flower. The second one is unisexual. What is the second one? Unisexual flower. The flowers are classified into two types based on the sex organs. The first one is a bisexual. The second one is unisexual. So here, bi means two. In this flower, two sex organs are there. Means male sex organ is there, female sex organ. M and F. Male sex organ, female sex organ. Remember. M O F O you can remember. Male sex organ, female sex organ. Here, only one sex organ we will find in the flower. Either male or female. Male organ or female sex organ we will find in the flower. So if only one sex organ is there that is called unisexual flower. If there are both sex organs are there those are called bisexual flower. So based on that now we are going to discuss about the Dattura flower. Dattura flower contains both sex organs that's what Dattura is known as bisexual flower. What do we call bisexual flower? So there are four parts are there. I am going to explain here by drawing the one one part and I am going to give you points to the parts. The first one. So I think it is clear to you. This is calyx. What do we call it? It is called as calyx. The first part of the flower, calyx, it is the first part. So here, calyx is in green color. So that's what I used green color here. Calyx is in green color. Then, three points you remember. The first point, calyx is in green color. The color of the calyx, green. Calyx contain sepals. What does it contain? Sepals. Calyx contains sepals. So, you, you may observe that. If you see that, the down of the flower, like this, you are going to find these are the sepals. These are the sepals. 
So, galaxy is in green color. Galax contains sepals. What is the function of galax means? Galax protects entire the flower. Protection. Protects entire the flower. Protects entire the flower. So, these are the three points. Galax is in green color. Galax contains sepals. Galax protects entire the flower. The next part we are going to discuss that is Corolla. The second part we called it. Actually, it is in cream color and the different colors we are going to see in different flowers. So now I am going to draw in red color here itself. If you think it is a green, okay. This is called a Corolla. This is the second part in the flower. Okay, so when you observe corella in the flowers, corella also we can point it as a three points. So corella contain means when we see the calyx, what is the color of calyx? Calyx is in green color, but corella is in different color. Different colors. Corella we can see in different colors. The second point we are going to compare with the calyx. Calyx contains sepals. Corella contains petals. What does it contain? Petals. Calyx sepals, corella petals. What is the function of calyx? Calyx protects the flowers. But here, Corella attracts other organisms. Attraction. Attracts other organisms. So, simple, you know very well about all the students. If you see a beautiful garden, in that garden, if you see the flowers, somebody, they go to the flower and they can touch, they can smell it. Why did they go there? near to the flower because the flowers attracted us that's what we reach there and we touch that and we smell that so that is due to the different colors and it attracts us corella attracts us the same thing corella attracts insects corella releases some smell color all this attracts us so that's what other organisms reaches the flower. What is the purpose means? They indirectly helps for the fertilization. That we will know in the upcoming questions. So here, Corella attracts other organisms. So these three, three points for Calyx and for Corella completed. Now we are going to discuss about the third part that is Andriosium. So here the base of the flower is called thalamus. Thalamus. What do we call? The base of the flower is called thalamus. So upon the thalamus, the either side of the ovary, we can see stamens. In the Thura flower, we can see five stamens. How many stamens? Five stamens. Five stamens. Each stamen consists of two parts. Each stamen consists of two parts. So let me write the labels right side because there is no space. This is anther. This is filament. What do we call it? This is anther. This is filament. Anther filament, these two parts together called stamens. Stamen. Five stamens are there in this flower. So, these five stamens together called the third part in the flower, which is called andriosium. What is the third part? So, here I am going to write Andrio 
Andriosium. Andriosium. So this is the third part. Andriosium is the male sex organ of the flower. Male sex organ of the flower. Androsium is a male sex organ of the flower. I think it is very clear. So here, according to the previous two, here also we are going to discuss as a points. There are five stamens are there in the male sex organ of the flower that is androsium. In the five stamens, each stamen consists of filaments and anther. The stalk is called filament. The two lobes are there, the two lobes together called that is anther. In that anther, pollen grains are there. What are there here? The dots I showed, those are pollen grains. These are the male sex cells. Pollen grains are called MSC, I wrote here. Male sex cells. What do you call male sex cells? So, these five stamens, they contain anthers. In that anther, two lobes are there. In that lobes, cells are there. Those are called pollen grains. Those are known as male sex cells or male garments. Male sex cells are male garments. So, that is about androsium. The last part of the flower that is gynosium. What is the last part? That is gynosium. Here upon the thalamus, the swollen part is there. This is called ovary. Upon the ovary style, end of the style, it is called a stigma. So this is ovary. This is style, this is stigma. Lack of space, I am writing all here itself. Just you can draw the diagram individually, slowly, you can learn everyone. So we can draw the all parts individually, then it is very easy. So that's what the, I drawn one after one. Calyx, Corella. Androsium, gynosium. So the fourth part, this ovary, style, stigma together called gynosium. What do we call gynosium? I will write with the black pen. This is the fourth part of the flower. This is called gynosium. Gyno. Um, let me rub this. Wait a minute. Yeah, here. G Y N O E C I U M. Here also see Andreo. A N D R O E C I U M. C I U M. The same thing. Gyano. E C I U M. Gynosium. So, androsium and gynosium. This is male sex organ of the flower, I said. Here, female. Female sex organ of the flower. Gynosium is the female sex organ of the flower. So, what does it contain? Here, androsium contain stamen. In the stamen, filament and anther, in the anther two lobes are there, inside the anther pollen grains are there, these are the male sex cells. These are the male sex cells. Then, gynosium is a female sex organ of the flower, in that uh, ovary, style, stigma, three parts are there. So, in this ovary, we will find the ovule, ovium, the word we can say that are ovule. Ova also we can call it. Ova, it is the female sex cell. Pollen grain is the male sex cell. Ova is the female sex cell. So this is 
the fourth part in the flower so what did i give you in the beginning of this content i said to you about unisexual and bisexual so here is it bisexual or unisexual what did you understand it is bisexual flower it is bisexual flower why it is bisexual flower because it contains two sex organs androsium male sex organ is there gynosium female sex organ is there that's what it is called as a bisexual flower this method is known as hermaphroditism the organ which contain both sex organs that is a bisexual organ that method is known as hermaphroditism herma h e r m a hermaphroditism p r o t a s a m proditism hermaphroditism so this is hermaphroditism method because if any one of the organ if it contains both sex organs that organ is called as bisexual organ that is under hermaphroditism so that are flower also hermaphroditism so because it contain androsium male sex organ gynosium female sex organ so this is about the datura flower calyx first part corella second part androsium third part gynosium fourth part calyx green color it contains sepals protects the flower corella in different colors it contains petals it attract other organelles androsium third part in the androsium five stamens are there each stamen contain filament and anther in the anther pollen grains are there these are the male sex cells gynosium is the fourth part of the flower that is a female sex organ of the flower that contain ovary style stigma inside the ovary ovules are there these are the female sex cells so four parts are there in this both sex organs are there that's what it is called as bisexual flower so that is the introduction so now what is unisexual flower you i think you understood bisexual flower now what is unisexual flower in this androsium gynosium only one will be present in the flower either androsium or gynosium any one of the part will be present in the flower that is called unisexual flower that is called sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism dimorphism means only one variations are there either male sex organ or female sex organ so that's what it is called sexual dimorphism so unisexual sexual dimorphism bisexual hermaphroditism these two methods are there so based on the sex organs in the organ we are going to classify the organelles bisexual organ hermaphroditism unisexual organ sexual dimorphism so i think you understood so there is a four marks question describe the structure of the thora flower means you want to draw this picture label all parts Exp ex explain about all the parts and their functions so upcoming content how the fertilization occur and how the zygote formation occur so internal fertilization or external fertilization whatever the fertilization methods are there but here we are going to discuss only fertilization because it is plant internal external that we will discuss in animals so i think so it is clear is still is there any doubt you can ask me so this is the first question we are we have to discuss two more questions let me rub this the and another video i am going to give you another question